Well, I would like them to know that uh, it is a very prevalent disease. In fact, it is the number one cause of burden of disease across the world in both uh, high and middle and low income countries. It is a cause of uh, severe complications uh, such as heart attacks, strokes, renal failure, and all of this can be uh, reduced, delayed, even avoided by adequate treatment of high blood pressure uh, to goal. Well, for me and my patients, controlling blood pressure uh, means uh, following uh, the recommendations that include uh, lifestyle changes, uh, losing weight, uh, which is very difficult, unfortunately, uh, moving, uh, keeping active, uh, eating healthy, restricting the amount of salt that uh, is intaken, and if necessary, which is the case in most uh, patients, taking medication regularly and as prescribed. Uh, that is what I wish uh, my patients uh, would do. As well, I want them to know about high blood pressure and its complications because that helps them manage their blood pressure. I think that uh, being aware of uh, what hypertension is about and what its effects can be and how it can be prevented or avoided or it, the complications um, uh, avoided as well uh, is very important in ensuring that patients uh, follow treatment uh, and adhere to the recommendations of the physician and uh, reach uh, treatment decisions in a shared way with their uh, physician or healthcare professional. Well, my hope is that patients' outcomes will be improved. Uh, that's my first hope. Uh, to do that, uh, or to achieve that, I think it is very important to achieve uh, the goal of blood pressure uh, lowering that is needed for that particular patient. There may be different goals depending on the risk uh, the cardiovascular risk that is associated uh, with uh, the blood pressure elevation and cardiovascular risk factors that may be present or target organ damage that may be present in the particular patient. And so my hope is that the patient will be aware of the need to reach that goal and make every effort possible to adhere to treatment, to understand the importance of adhering to treatment and how he or she will benefit from uh, achieving uh, the blood pressure control that we recommend. Well, when patients learn they have high blood pressure, it's very important to uh, tell them that uh, this is a condition that can be controlled, that its consequences can be prevented, uh, because otherwise uh, patients feel labeled with a disease. We know that this uh, produces anxiety, depression, uh, that uh, people may even lose days of work, and uh, uh, it may affect their family relationships, it may affect their behavior, and so it's important to uh, reassure them. It's important that uh, one supports them. They're suddenly uh, asked to uh, change their lifestyle. They're given pills. Some of my patients take many, many pills. And of course, we must make every effort to reduce the pill burden. But sometimes the patients have to take all these pills and we have to distribute them throughout the day so that the struggle that they are faced with having to take all these pills is minimized. Uh, we have to make every effort in our interaction with a patient to uh, have uh, an adequate relationship that will allow us 
to support them in this uh, struggle to deal with this condition that is so prevalent and that requires undoubtedly some sacrifices, some effort, discipline, uh, and adherence sometimes to recommendations that may be difficult to follow. Yeah, well, I think that it's important that uh, we have uh, campaigns where uh, the goal of lowering blood pressure is explained, which increases the knowledge, uh, allows the interaction of patients with other uh, members of their own community of patients uh, dealing with high blood pressure, and uh, as we mentioned, the struggles of uh, dealing with pill burden, with uh, lifestyle, with uh, the need to keep moving, uh, which is uh, very difficult for some people who've been sedentary most of their lives and so on. And so hearing from other people what their struggles are helps many people to deal with their own struggles. And the presence of physicians that convey uh, a feeling of trust, that bring knowledge, that uh, ensure that uh, the uh, recommendations that are being given are evidence-based, that they're supported by solid science, and therefore that they are what it, the knowledge is at that time, I think is reassuring for patients and will certainly contribute to increasing the awareness, the control, the adherence that is one of our uh, biggest struggles in uh, uh, treating patients with hypertension.